this is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Hey there, guys. Uh, in the previous episode, uh, it has been a while, but, uh, yeah, uh, we did these two, did we do these three duels? I'm pretty sure we did at least this duel, Mind Control, and I think we did playing with a Parasite as well. And in this episode, uh, yeah, we're going to continue with the storyline, the main story. I'll probably just finish the main story until we uh, uh, get to a kind of like midway point. And then we'll go back and do some reverse duels. But uh, here we go, the Dark Spirit revealed, ready for some voices. Uh, Alright, here we go, guys. It was now time for the Battle of City Finals. Hey, look, big bro. It's Joey, Yuki, and mine. Yeah, check it out. We got all six locator cards, you. Yeah. Kaiba, Joey, Yugi, and Mai were the first four duelists to reach the finals. The fifth finals soon arrived. It was Merrick. Using the fake name Nabu, he befriended Taya and Joey during the tournament. His plan was falling into place. And I think a uh, storyline of this game, like, skipped a couple duels. Like the, uh... The double duel with, uh, yeah, Mask of Light and Darkness, you know, uh, Loomis and Umbra, so. Yugi, meet our friend Namu. Wahaha, I've heard about you, Yugi. Check out my midriff. It's an honor to meet you, foolish fool. Any friend of Joey and Taya's is a buddy of mine. Whoa. Any friend of theirs is a buddy. Uh, sounds like you got downgraded there, Namu. Or whoever you are. Wahaha! I'm so happy to be surrounded by such foolish fools and a welcoming crowd. I just hope everyone I meet is tonight is as friendly as you people. Wahahaha! Hey, that's Bakura. What's he doing here? What are you doing wearing a dual disc? I thought that was Joey's dialogue for a second there. How else could I win six locator cards and enter the finals? Yeah, over the top dramatic anime reaction. Yeah, remind the stick. When'd you join the tournament, Bakura? Join? How'd you make it all the way to the finals? My voice gives me super strength. The seventh finalists arrived just in time for Bakura to change the topic. Hey, look, blokes. It's the seventh finalists. I'm British, you know. Yeah, this guy looks familiar. That's a mug you don't forget. <laughs> oh man, I love Joey's lines all throughout the show. State your name now. I am Merrick. I love gummy bears, and I have an unnatural hatred for the Easter Bunny. Merrick's henchman Odeon assumed Merrick's name to hide Merrick's true identity. It was all part of Merrick's plan. Yeah, I'll kick your brainwashing keys to you tell him, Joey. You're no match for me, fool, in the power of my gummy bears. Yeah, the only reason I'm not tossing you out by your cape right now, oh, oh, is so I can have I can save my energy to take you down in the finals. Got that, pal? I I think I scared him, you <laughs> Oh man, the dialogue in this game, oh my god. Now that the seven of the eight finalists arrived, Kaiba announced that even though the locators and cards led them to this location, it wasn't the site of the Battle City Finals. At that moment, Kaiba's blimp arrived. Once they were on board, it was time for the first duel between Yugi and Bakura. Yugi knew there was something not quite right, quite right with Bakura. I know that's not Bakura. It's the evil spirit of the Millennium Ring. I bet he's still after the seven millennium items. This duel is going to be tougher than everyone thinks. I must win. Oh, and yeah, look at the evil face over there, yeah. <laughs> the fate of the world depends on it. Oh, shocker, I've never heard that before. Ah, it is I, Florence. <laughs> Are you prepared to lose it all, little Yugi? Including your three god cards and your millennium puzzle? Oh, Merrick. Foolish fools! What up by all the fuss? What's around that chorus neck, man? It's just a piece of gold. Uh, Namu? It's kind of hard to explain, but that's not really Bakura. Yeah, you see, Namu, Yuk and Bakura have these real old objects that have magic powers. 
Yugi's item is good, but Bakura's item is bad. Bravo, Joey. Bravo. That's <laughs> that sums it up right there. Because an evil spirit lives inside of it. Wahaha! So you're telling me there's an evil spirit up there dueling Yugi? Foolish fools, that's hard to believe. Along with those leather pants, check those out. The team had no idea that Nam was actually married and at the evil spirit position. Kuro was working for him. Ha ha ha! Now that the introductions are over and done with, why don't we begin this duel? And, uh, I don't know, why is Merrick? Merrick looks pretty happy in this. Why is he creeping up behind Yugi there? <laughs> okay. Uh, story deck. Yep, we're doing everything story deck. Dark Flat Top! That was a, uh, a Dark Synchro monster in Yu Gi Oh! 5Ds. Uh, we'll go with Paper. And Story Deck. Uh. I forget the rules in this one. I think the rules in this game have, like. Are they Master Duel rules? Where you don't draw on the first turn? I admit, guys, forgive me. It's been forever since we played here, so. Oh my god, and look at all these bricks. Alright, so I assume Yami Bakura's Bakura got the Destiny board here. Ah. Now I summon Beta, the Magnet Warrior. I guess I'll set Magical Headspace down here. And, uh, Beta, attack. Oh, gross ghost of play dreams. Yeah, that's gonna stop us. Okay, I my turn. And I need a drink after all that reading. Set another monster face down, you and in my turn. <laughs> well, what if I take your monster with brain control? Oh, but don't worry, guys. Silver Fang's here. Silver, Silver Fang will guide us through this tough time. And I'll sacrifice your gross ghost, Bakura. Now I play Summon Skull. Man, didn't Yugi only use Summon Skull like once throughout all battles, did he? I think he used it in the. Aww. I got greedy there. I got greedy. Okay, I guess we're attacking with Summon Skull from now on. But yeah, I think uh, Yami Yugi only used Summon Skull, like, against the rare hunter? Pfizer Des. That's a pretty good monster right there. Wow. Hmm. Do I have a Dark Magician in the deck? We're about to find out. Well, this can't attack due to Pfizer Des, right? Um, hang on, let me check this out. Yeah, if this card's normal summon, target a card... Oh, it gets destroyed. It can still attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do want to get rid of this card, though. Okay, I sacrifice my summons. How old? I'll summon Dark Magician Girl. We'll play Sage of Stone to get uh, Dark Magician out. Oh, we do have some in the deck, sweet. Okay, Dark Magician. <laughs> sweet. And now he can be destroyed by battle, because my monster's gone. Let's go, Dark Magician, get him. Oh, I forgot this game had animations for a second. Dark Magician. Dark Magic Attack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this game has animations for, like, Blue Eyes. Oh, man. And Dark Magician Girl. And for Dark Magician. I think for, like, Flame Swords or two. There's a couple of monsters in here that have animations. It's just been so long that I forgot. I wasn't expecting anything. Okay. What you got, you have a good current? You didn't play Dark Necros here, so... I think we're good here. Let's see... Okay. Yeah, Miyami Yugi's story deck has gotten a little bit better than the Exodia duel. Alright, Dark Magician Girl, get in there. Nice, we get to see both animations. <laughs> I don't know, that last attack looked a little weird to me. Dark Magician, finish them all. I think that was pretty easy. Bakora, are you okay? Hey, where am I? What happened? How did I even get here? You're with your friends now, Bakora. And also you're here with Joey. I'm glad Bakura's okay. The Millennium Ring is a lot like my puzzle. It holds an ancient spirit that depends on someone else so that it can exist. And even though the spirit of the ring is evil and controls Bakura against his will, it still se 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 it seems to still need Bakura in order to survive. Get your words together here, Yugi. But there's one major difference between Bakura and I. What's that, Yugi? The spirit inside my item is my friend. And you and I are always there to support each other. 
No matter what comes our way. Ah, well said, Yugi. Okay. I promise that together, we'll figure out the secrets of your ancient past and how to unlock your hidden powers before Merrick can take them. Because your destiny is mine too, and we're gonna win. That's right. This was a tough duel, but thanks to our teamwork and the heart of the cards, we came out on top. Now we're headed for round two, and we're gonna take it all away. All right, Sato, take it to the hoop, bro. <laughs> and we get, uh, yeah, Yami Bakura's deck. Ah, Dark Necrofear ain't bad. Spirit Message A. All right, next we have the Awakening of, e e of Evil. I'm gonna take a drink in anticipation. Oh, and I love the music in this game. It's been a while. <sighs> there we go. While everyone waited for the next duel to begin, he returned to his room of rest, and he was suddenly surprised by a man in robes who wore a turban. His name was Shani, and he explained that he had come to provide unique guidance for the challenges that lay ahead. I am the guardian of the seven millennium items. I am here because I just sense a disturbance and the mystic alignment once again, little Yugi. All seven items are on board this vessel, the Kaiba Corp ship, as well as the three Egyptian god cards, which means all of the objects capable of saving and destroying the world are right here. Really? Yes, the Earth's safety rests with you, young one. Heed my words. If the wrong individuals were to gain control of any of the Millennium Items or one of the Egyptian God Cards, the results could be catastrophic. It happened once before when Pegasus created dual monsters. It did? But how? It all began when Maximilian Pegasus arrived here in Egypt. He was searching for a method of reuniting with his lost love, Cecilia. His quest brought him to me and I presented him with the Millennium Eye, for he was destined to possess it. Whew, I'm gonna need some more water. <sighs> okay, soon after, he discovered the origins of the ancient Egyptian shadow games. Pegasus became obsessed with these games and decided to dictate his life to recreating them. During one of his early research trips to the ancient pyramids, Pegasus planned to locate the stones depicting the Egyptian god monsters he read about. So I guided Pegasus and his team of archaeologists to an underground chamber hidden beneath the desert sands. And after traveling by foot for hours, our journey was over. Pegasus entered the dimly lit chamber. As promised, I brought him to the ancient resting place of the Egyptian god tablets. Pegasus found what he came for, never knowing he was about to unleash a devastating force like no other. Triumphant, Pegasus returned to America to design his cards based upon the images he found on the stones. He was destined to awaken the Egyptian god monsters, but unfortunately for him, he was not destined to control their powerful magic. Although Maximilian Pegasus created the prototypes of the three Egyptian god cards, he immediately flew to Egypt to seal them in the tomb alongside the original carvings and spare the world their absolute power. And with the help of Ishizu, Pegasus sealed away the cards. And then Merrick tried to steal them? So that makes two, count them, two, uh, you know, good guys, you know, who knew where the god cards were all along and uh, didn't really warn Yugi at all. You know, like Shadi, why didn't you warn Yugi about this, you know, in Duelist Kingdom? You know, after you were, you know, uh, searching for the Thief of Pegasus Millennium Mai. That seems like a pretty good time to tell him about all this. Hmm. Yes. And if he were to get his hands on all three, the results would be devastating. I can assure you, Yabi Merrick will never hold all three Egyptian god cards and my leather pants. Uh, is Shadi blushing there? What's going on? My pharaoh, it's an honor for me to be in your presence once again. I know that you will restore order to the world and put an end to this chaos just as you did 5,000 years ago. Or 3,000 if you read the uh, manga. My complete faith lies in you. At that moment, the speaker announced all finalists must return to the main concourse and the next round will begin. 
that moment, Johnny vanished. A second duel was between Merrick and Joey. Since Odeon was pretending to be Merrick, Odeon stood before Joey, ready to duel. Yeah, let's do this, Merrick. It's time to duel and destroy you. <laughs> Prepare for defeat. Yeah, don't count on it, Merrick. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> Joey's dialogue. Okay, story deck. Shiny Elf. Hmm. I wonder if that card would see play in sprites. <laughs> no, let's get real. It's got to have a much better effect than that. Let's go second. So, uh, in the anime, Odeon uses like a trap monster mace deck. Uh, I don't know if that's what they gave him here, but uh, I assume the goal here is to get Jinzo on board, yeah? Wow, speaking of traps, we got a lot of traps. And baby dragon. What? And Odeon didn't play any actual monsters besides uh, Mystical Beast of Circuit. Why is he sitting down to face down? Dude, we got all the traps here. Well, I summon Baby Dwang in, in attack mode. Nyeh. Oh, and he does have his trap monster. Okay. Baby Dwagon, attack its face down. Caterville Omen. I guess that does make sense. Yeah. Magic Jammer. Okay. Yeah, I guess that does make sense in a trap heavy deck. I wonder why the AI chose that one, too, out of all the trap cards. Well, we'll just set the fort here, I guess. We do have Fairy Box, which is pretty good. Alright, four face downs, Odeon. Oh, another embodiment. Okay. I end my turn. Nah, nah, nah. Let's see what you got, buddy. Alright, he's gonna shuffle his hand, yeah, because we know what's in it. Right, I think if I hold down B, it skips the prompts. Okay, battle phase. Wait for it, wait for it, this is gonna be good. So he declared battle, and he's got two monsters of the same attack. How about I play magical arm shield? Nah. When my monsters attack, this lets me take control of one of your monsters and have it take the attack. Nah. Nice, and we got a two for two there. What is that, another cat? Well, we know he's got magic hammer, so that's probably what that is. Polymerization? Yeah, polymerization card. That's no help right now. All right, baby dragon, get him. Oh, it is another cat. Okay, what are you gonna take this time? Uh, Judgment of Anubis, okay. I don't even think Joey has any spell cards that could trigger that. Although for some reason in the anime, uh, Giant Trunade triggered Judgment of Anubis, despite Giant Trunade returning all cards to the hand. And not destroying them. Oh, also in the oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There, there we go. Also in the anime, for whatever reason, uh, Judgment of Anubis didn't just destroy one monster. Uh, no, it destroyed all of Joey's monsters and inflicted like a crap ton of damage. So not good. Oh, he's not doing anything. If I can draw a different monster, Shield and Sword. That's no help right now. And baby Dragon, go Fireball attacks. It's just baby dragon beat down this duel, I guess. Until he draws some kind of trap monster, so... Alright. Anyway, how are you guys doing today? Today is May 20th, 2022. It's currently a little bit past midnight. Man, if we could have drawn Time Wizard, that would have been good. Another baby dragon. Ah, uh, he finally got his other trap monster. Hmm... What can I do here? I could giant trunade and just uh, reset his trap monster, go for a bunch of damage. Hmm, sure. If he wants to play magic jammer, that's fine. Okay, okay. Oh, soul exchange. What? Odeon didn't have that in Battle City. I Merrick. I guess I end my turn. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna play Fairy Box here. I wonder if we can check the coin toss, or we have to, uh... Hmm, something I did just think about, though. He did throw away Soul Exchange. He's not gonna attack? Oh. Yeah, interesting. Something I just thought of. Yeah, we'll pay. Uh, yeah, he did put Soul Exchange in the graveyard. Maybe I don't even need Soul Exchange because we just drew the legendary fisherman here. 
Okay, yeah, let's just, uh... If you play something too dangerous, though, we can use Grave Robber to, uh, <laughs> steal his Soul Exchange. I guess that's why they gave it to Odeon and Mistal. So you could steal Soul Exchange and get rid of, a uh, Circuit. Yeah, we'll save that play in case he plays Myth Mythical Beast Circuit. Baby Dwagon, attack the life points. Yeah. Alright, I am my turn. What are you gonna do, Chrome Dome? I remember in this duel in the anime, Joey made a bunch, a bunch of insults, uh, <laughs> for whatever reason, about uh, Odeon being bald. So, like, <laughs> even the abridged version made, made fun of that. Alright, baby Dwayne, direct attack. Legendary Fisherman, legendary spear attack. <laughs> Alright, one more attack by Baby Dragon, and it's GG. This has been a pretty easy duel. Oh, great, he did nothing. I don't know what he bricked on there, because this guy plays a lot of, uh, like, trap cards, so... I sh whatever. Alright, now I'll summon Battle Warrior. Yeah, this monster attacks with his bare hands. The gold battle warrior, ultimate battle fist. And we'll finish him off with BB Dwayne and Fireball Attack. Oh, well, that was pretty easy. Alright, what do we got here? Odeon's deck contain a copy of an Egyptian god card. Oh yeah, we never even saw... Well, anyway. This anger of the gods, so lightning struck Joey and Odeon, and Odeon sent them. Master Merrick, I am not worthy of the gummy bears and to control this card. Just as I was not worthy enough to be part of your family, Master Merrick. Wah! Odeon, you foolish fool! I tried my best to serve you, my master. I tried. I tried all my keys. Odeon dedicated his life to protecting Merrick by containing the greater evil within Merrick. But with Odeon weakened, his control over the greater evil was losing its strength. Please forgive me, Joey. I'm sorry. It was an honor for me to duel you. Yeah, well, same to you, buddy, and thanks to that. <laughs> and look at the spelling, and thanks to that lightning bolt. Yeah, I'm gonna forget this duel for a while. And yeah, now that it's done, you gotta come clean, buddy. If you're not Merrick, then who are you? I am only a servant of the real Master Merrick. Admit your true identity, Melvin. I mean, Merrick. Wahaha, foolish fools. Yes, it is true. I am indeed the real Kira. I, I, I mean, Merrick, you foolish fools. So now I'm going to lie to us all along. <gasps> oh my god, we were gullible idiots. Wahaha, Namu. He must have the skies to get me closer to Yugi. So, Pharaoh. After 50 episodes, we finally meet face to face, foolish fool. Now, at last, I can finish the job my pathetic servants couldn't. Yugi, your puzzle and power will soon be where they belong. Wahahaha! <laughs> oh no, I was afraid of this. We're all in danger. The great evil hidden within Master Merrick has a darker side. Okay, let me get this straight. The guy who, uh, you know, chained us up to a shadow duel with, uh, you know, dark energy disc, a.k.a. saws. Uh, the guy who chained us up to an anchor and who, uh, threatened both Yuki and Joey, and if our life went to zeros, the anchor would drop into the bottom of the sea. That Merrick has a darker side? Oh, we're screwed. And I'm unable to contain it anymore. It's too late now. Tell the gummy bears I love them. Wah! Ha ha ha! Merrick, what's going on? Wah! I'm finally free again, which means I can do things my way. I was restrained for many years by that fool Odeon. Who are you? I'm the true Merrick. And I'm not as kind as the one you've come to know. Uh, yeah, the one we've come to know has, uh, let's, uh, once again recap. Uh, chain this to an anchor. Uh, put us in a shadow game with saw blades. Um, also put us in a double duel on top of the roof. Where if we lost, like a mmm would, uh, activate and explode the glass beneath our feet. And this guy's not as kind? Hmm. 
I'll, and soon, I'll finish the job he couldn't uh, complete and strip you of your powers, Pharaoh. Wah! Okay. Yeah. That's some scary stuff. Okay, so we get Mystical Beast Circuit. Oh, Gold Sark. That's actually a really good card. And Soul Exchange. Three pretty good cards. Okay. A Duel with Destiny. Uh, do we have time for this duel? Hmm, what time are we at? Looks like we're at about 23 minutes or so. Well, I don't think we have time for this duel in this one. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for joining me. And I guess next time we'll have a duel with Destiny. Um, I can see the future because shut up. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, thank you guys for joining me in this one. And, uh, yeah, feel free to like comment and subscribe now if i remember right i think the way to save in this game is you actually need to like edit your deck and then like uh any deck really and you just take a card out and put it back in right i hope that's how you save the game in this game because i don't remember how to save but i'm pretty sure that's how uh, but anyway guys next time a duel with destiny or you know what maybe next time we'll do some reverse duels hmm I don't know. But uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. Glad this one's back. All right, and yeah, feel free to check out some of my other series. We got a Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories going on now. That's a new series. We also got like Pokemon Platinum, Pokemon Training Card Game. Uh, we got Nightmare Troubadour. We got Donna Destiny. We got, all and uh, I've lately been uploading stuff from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. You know, if you're interested only in new stuff, new stuff only. Uh, yeah, I've been streaming on Twitch lately. Uh, feel free to drop me a follow on Twitch if you want to help. Uh, same name as my YouTube, you know, Fledinmon14. Uh, but yeah, so lots of stuff to check out. Feel free to check those out if you like. Or hey, just keep on watching, and because uh, that helps too. All right. But uh, that's going to be it for me, and I'll see you guys all next time. All right. Have a good day.